What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're doing a movie review of the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie, so I just got back from seeing it, so just gonna do kind of a short review, so of course we'll start out with spoilers in the first part, and then, um, or sorry, spoiler free in the first part, and then spoilers afterwards, stuff like that, so spoiler free, um, I would say the movie was decent, it's not one of the best Marvel movies, of course this is all obviously just my opinion, um, I would say for me it's, I said it's like a normal Spider-Man movie, to me each one of the movies has been decent, like I haven't had a problem with any one of them, but they're just not the most exciting and like best movies, and especially for the recent Marvel movies, um, it's definitely not one of the better ones, but it is still pretty good and decent. I like where they're going and all the like stuff they threw into it to connect it with the other movies and stuff like that. Um, I think the acting was pretty good. Like I thought Tom Holland was good. Of course, I don't really have like a view of what I think Peter Parker should be. Like I really enjoyed um, Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker, like just the image he portrayed. But Tom Holland as a younger version, um, being the more um, he, although he didn't act like it, I say being the more of like the geeky nerdy guy, like I said though he didn't really act like it in anything though, but um, being he was in like you know the school academic clubs and stuff like that type thing, um, and he was able to you know answer questions in class real fast and everything and stuff like that. So that was pretty decent. Um, I actually liked Michael Keaton's character as Vulture a lot. Like I of course Michael Keaton come uh, portrays like a good villain and stuff like that he's good at playing villains and everything and so I like the way he played it and actually made me enjoy Vulture more than I did just from like the trailer stuff just because I hated his costume so much and everything but it actually started growing me and I enjoy it like I like the wingsuit and stuff he has but I hate his like whole mask and outfit type thing I like the um, old cartoon or comic Vulture a lot more and stuff like that and then uh of course, with that, or going with Michael Keaton, we then had uh, Shocker and stuff like that, which doesn't, like we've talked about in the um, Funko box we did of the Lee, or Collector Core box where we got a little Shocker and stuff. He doesn't really look like the actual Shocker. He just has the Shocker gloves and then somewhat like shirt design similar to the old Shocker and stuff. But there's act were two Shockers in the movie. Um, but the, like he just plays such a small part and stuff like that. Um... And then, of course, we had uh, Tony Stark and his, uh, like, bodyguard type get type guy. Um, they called him Happy Hogan, which I never realized that's what his name was. I didn't know he had a name, really, in the past. Um, so that was kind of weird for me. Like, I guess I never paid attention to any of the Iron Man movies, stuff like that. But, of course, they were their exact same characters, perfect, as always, and stuff like that. Um, then we have all the, like, school kids and stuff like that. Um, his best friend... Um, I can't remember what his name was, but uh, he was pretty funny and had a lot of uh, com or comedic parts and stuff like that. I have no clue who he is. I don't know if he's even actually in the Spider-Man universe at, our, um, at all or anything. Then, of course, his love interest, Liz, um, which is an older like senior girl at school that he likes and everything. is trying to impress and stuff like that. Um, again, don't know who she is at all. No, Not a familiar name to the Spider-Man universe to me at all. Um, but she's, I don't know if it's real spoiler stuff, but she's Vulture's daughter, so there's the weird connection that goes on there that we'll talk about in a little bit. And then, um, of course Zendaya, which you get a few parts with her and stuff, she's like this loner weird girl, and her name is Michelle in the movie, and then towards the very end she goes, my friends call me MJ, so apparently she's supposed to be the Mary Jane character, so in the next movie, which... Um, it did say there will be another Spider-Man, that's why I said Spider-Man will return. Um, obviously in the uh, um, Infinity Wars, stuff like that, I assume he'll be in, but I know they've talked about doing other movies with this Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, so apparently she's uh, Mary Jane, but her name's Michelle instead of Mary. Um, and then we, there was uh, another student, um, Flash Thompson, which I don't even know if that was, I know his name was Flash, but I don't know if it was Thompson or not. Um, but he's like Peter Parker's bully in school and stuff like that. And it was, um, the character wasn't really like his actual character besides just being, thinking he's better than Peter and stuff like that, or like acting like he is and stuff like that. But that was about all that his, um, similarity was and stuff like that. Um, trying to think what else or who else. Of course, then there was his aunt, but again, she barely appeared, um, 
just sporadically throughout the movie and stuff like that. Um, that's probably it on that. Like I said, all the actors were pretty decent and good. I didn't have, like notice anybody um, not doing too well or stuff like that. The story was pretty good, like seeing Peter, uh, of course it picks up right after Captain America uh, Civil War uh, movie and stuff like that. So Peter has his suit that um, Iron Man gave him in the movie and stuff like that. And so it's skipped past his like origin story because obviously we've had multiple uh, Spider-Man movies now. We know how he became Spider-Man, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so it just starts from, like I said, right after that and actually um, has like, you know, shows like photos and stuff like he recorded, like was vlogging the whole thing and stuff like that. Um, and so it picks up right after that and then of course he gets trouble. Iron Man takes the suit away so then he just has to figure out how to get on without the suit and everything and stuff like that. So that whole story was pretty interesting and then the connection with the Avengers and stuff like that that goes on. Um, was awesome, which I will talk about in the spoiler things. Not that it's anything major or anything. Um, but nothing really big happens. It's just kind of like in Spider-Man origin, as in it, nothing major happens in the movie. Um, it just sets up for future stuff. Um, so there's nothing like huge that can really be spoiled out of the movie and stuff like that. Um, but I, like I said, I like the what they set up and where they can go. Um, from here and stuff, it's just the movie overall wasn't just the most exciting thing at all and stuff like that. Um, but I can't think of anything else, so we're going to go ahead and skip to the spoilers, so I'll just talk actually more about stuff in the movie and stuff like that. So if you don't want to see um, or hear any spoilers, stuff like that, you can shut it off now, but we'll move into the spoilers. So what I was going to say, so of course the movie opens with the destruction of um, New York City and stuff like that and Stark Tower from the first Avengers movie. Um, and so Michael Keane's part of like the cleanup crew that clean up um, the whole wreckage and stuff and they're um, messing with the whole giant like um, alien like the big giant thing that Hulk takes down in the movie and stuff like that. Um, they're cleaning that up and then people come in that's a that I think it says is like Tony Stark's ahead of. And I'm like indirectly there's some like government group and stuff like that and they take over and clean up so that um, takes the job away from uh, Michael Keaton's vul or the Vulture, I forget what his real name is, um, but him and his group and stuff like that, so they lose the chance for money and work and that sort of stuff. And so they become bad um, to try and like start using this stuff or whatever. And so then it jumps ahead um, in time, and uh, for them at least, they're using the stuff they got from the um, Chitari and stuff like that and using it to do weapons and stuff and then they're selling the weapons weapons on the black market you know to make money and stuff and so he's got this nice um, lavish life or whatever and stuff like that um, with a nice house and everything and uh, you know can treat his wife and daughter and stuff which I said his daughter is the girl that Peter's interested in in the from school and stuff like that um, so you have that connection to Avengers and then um, there's stuff with uh, uh, Happy um, moving stuff out of Stark Tower, and they're moving, it, they just kept saying, to um, uh, Upper New York or whatever, which is to the new Avengers facility that you see in, like, uh, Captain America Civil War, um, the second Avengers movie at the end. Um, so it's just their new facility type thing. And so you, um, Happy talks about when they're loading up the thing, he mentions stuff, he says... Um, I know Thor's magic belt or something like that, which I don't know what that is for sure. Um, Captain America's new proto or prototype for his new shield or something, so I assume that means next time we see Captain America, he's going to have some sort of new shield, which makes sense since his last one got destroyed or grew, tore up and everything during the fight with Iron Man and stuff like that. So um, I assume he'll have some sort of new shield. What it'll be, I have no clue. It may, could just look exactly the same for all I know. And I swore there was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, yeah, the Hulkbuster suit was mentioned and stuff like that. Um, so there we have those connections to the Avenger stuff. Then also we have flash or little scenes um, popping up throughout the movie at the school of Captain America like they're kind of like PSAs and stuff that the school's playing and stuff like that so it's kind of funny seeing him doing these weird like you know service announcements of telling kids you know to be to how to like act correctly and all sorts of stuff like that um, and then of course Iron Man um, shows up a couple times uh, his suit does at least and then Tony does 
um, at one point stuff to help Tom or Tom um, to help Peter and stuff like that. Um, so we get him and stuff like that. Uh, and so I like that whole connection, like I said, to the Avengers stuff, tying in this um, separate Spider-Man universe that we're probably going to be getting, but yet adds the whole Avengers stuff into it to make it see like seem like it connects, even though it's going to be two separate company type things and stuff. Um, and so, of course, um, as you'll see if you've seen the movie or anything like that, of course, Peter fight ends up finding out the whole stuff about Vulture and everything and keeps trying to tell Tony and Happy that there's this guy trying to steal all this stuff and they don't believe him, you know, he's just a kid and stuff like that. And so he keeps trying to, like, catch him in the process and um, leading to new stuff and everything. Like this scene on the boat that you see in the movie where he's holding the boat together. Incident goes wrong there and everything. Um, and then, of course, the airplane, which, again, you see that in the trailer, and stuff like that and he ends up obviously beating Vulture in the end where Vulture then gets locked up and sent into jail and um, there he meets a guy that he also met with on the boat trying to sell the weapons to which has a scorpion on his neck so I auto um, automatically assume scorpion which I'm excited because Scorpion's one of my favorite spider-man villains I don't know why I just like his costume and stuff which obviously with this whole new thing um, with this like movie universe stuff like that he's not probably gonna look hardly anything like he does um, but he, of course, in the prison, he's talking to um, Vulture and, you know, m mentions his, or points out his tattoo and stuff like that. And uh, says that he has a group of other, or like knows some people or something, and they all want to like get Spider-Man and he's trying to get information. And um, Vulture acts like he, or, pr or like says that he doesn't know who Peter Parker is and stuff like that, even though he does, because he finds that out through the movie and stuff like that. Um... But other than that, I don't know what else, much else to say. Of course, Spider-Man, he's learning, you know, how to use the suit. He gets the, um, gets rid of the um, training wheels protocol, so now he has all access to the suit. And he's got all sorts of weird spy, um, webbing things he can do. And uh, so it's not working how he wants at points and stuff. So he has to try and learn the new, or the system and figure out how to get it to work and use Karen which is the name he um, gives to, like, the Siri in his suit and stuff like that. Um, so you just get that learning and him, like, trying to save people randomly and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, I thought, like I said, I thought it was good. Not the best, but definitely worth seeing. And um, definitely a good, like, view for a Spider-Man movie. Of course, I thought about the, I thought that same thing about the last one. And it ended up not going anywhere. Um, but I can't think of anything else. There's not much more to add. There's, like I said, not anything major, really, that happens in the movie and stuff like that. At least I can think of right now and stuff like that. Um, but if you saw the Spider-Man movie, let me know down below whether you thought it was good, uh, bad, indifferent, whatever you think about it. Um, but if you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.